On today's video, we're going to talk about the exact step by steps that you need to take in order to start your web design business. What's up and welcome to another business time. My name is Ron Segal. I'm a freelance designer. I've been freelance designer for over 17 years. The last six of them have been full time and I've been fortunate enough to be able to support myself and build a multiple six figure business. As a designer, I want to share with you the exact steps you need to take if you were thinking about starting a web design business. Now, I kind of learned this along the way, but I think this is actually much simpler if I knew kind of the think thinking about how to think about this from a business perspective. And I'd like to share some of those insights with you. Basically, it comes down to answering three questions. I'm, I'm, those questions are not really, really simple, but it's really easy to get started somehow. So let's cover those three questions and then talk about how you can get started yourself. Basically, the questions that you need to answer are those. First of all, how are you going to get clients? Second question, what are you going to charge those clients? Third question, how are you going to deliver the website to them? That's it. If you've figured that one out and if you have a good answer to those questions, you're about to become a successful web designer. So let's cover basically the basics of each one of them. So how are you going to get clients? Basically, I, I just want to say to begin with, from a business perspective, th those three are kind of the cores of your business and those are business processes, right? So the first one is the process of acquiring customers. The, the second process is the process of sale. How are you going to you know, convert to them and close the deal. And the third one is the process of delivering the value. So if you're thinking about this from a business perspective, those are the processes that every business, no matter what the, the business is, needs. And you're just going to think about this from a web designer perspective. So let's talk about the first one, how to get clients. Obviously, there are a lot of ways to get clients. I'll just throw in few of them, right? So you can create content such as YouTube or writing blog. You can reach out to people in LinkedIn or something like that. You can build yourself a network and be discoverable on platforms such as Dribbble or even platforms like Upwork or Fiverr or something like that. So there are infinite ways to finding clients. You can go into networking event. Obviously, I'm not going to cover all of them. Now, all of them are valid. And I think that from each of them, you can build a successful business. Different people have different, I would say, strengths. And you need to understand where your strengths lies in order to understand which one of those, uh, as they call them, user acquisition channels, if, if speaking again in kind of a business lingo, um, you need to understand what really works for you. Now, the truth is, you're not going to know. Originally, you're not going to know what's going to work for you, where where you are more comfortable uh, reaching out to people and connecting with people and, and building yourself as a brand. You're not going to know. So the truth is, you're going to have to experiment with few of them to understand what really works for you. Again, there is infinite number of them. So you're just going to have to start, see if that works, keep and double down on it. If it doesn't work, try something else. So I would get started by sitting down after you're watching this video and just sitting down and saying, how can I get clients? Just write out some ideas. Again, maybe those ideas suck. Maybe those ideas are impractical, but you just need to give them a try and see what works and what doesn't work. Let's move into the second question, which is how much are you going to charge them? Which is something that a lot of designers struggle with or feel, you know, not confident about charging a lot of money or where should I bring this number from? So again, when it comes down to pricing, there are multiple strategies. And again, each one of them can work for you depending on what's comfortable for you, depending on how you sell. So let me give you a few examples. The one which is, I would say, most talked about now on YouTube and in general is the value pricing. And that's also something that I practice myself, which is basically trying to figure out what is the worth of the of solving the problem for your client and based on that charging so it's not related to how many hours you're working it's basically worth on the value that they have in their head or kind of like what's their alternative what are the if they're not going to work with you what what is it going to cost them this is usually a way that you can charge more than if you are um, charging by the hour. But that's just one technique. Another one, as we said, is charging by the hour. This, this, making the decision that I charge $50 an hour and I'm just going to tell them this website is going to take 100 hours to build 
an estimate. So this is the cost of the website. Um, that's another example. Uh, a third option might be fixed pricing. So you might say something like, all right, for a one pager, I'm going to charge $5,000 for a three page website. I'm going to charge $10,000 and for, you know, a, a comprehensive 20 page website, I'm going to charge $30,000. So kind of like Amazon type, or maybe even Fiverr type of, I have boxes, I have packages and you can buy a fixed package. You know, upfront how much it's going to cost. I know upfront what I'm, promising you and what's guaranteed within the package. So those are few uh, techniques for pricing. There are more and you can research that. I would sit down after you watch this video, after you make the list of where do you think you're going to um, come up with client, you can do a little bit of research. You can watch a little bit more videos or read a little bit about pricing. But the most important thing is to pick one right now and choose along the, along the process of starting your web, your business as a web designer, you're going to iterate. Everything is going to change. Your way of getting clients is going to change. Your way of pricing is going to change. And the way that you deliver a website, everything is going to change as you grow, as you evolve your business. So I think it really doesn't matter. I don't think that you should, you know, stick to it. I definitely started, you know, charging by the hour, charging not enough, but it was okay. It was a starting point. I think the most important thing is for you to get started, to do something instead of sitting yourself uh, and thinking, oh, is this right? What should I do? You know, what's called analysis paralysis. Just read about it and learn more and, and just never make a decision and may, never make the, the next step forward. What's important is for you to get started, for you to really work um, with clients, for you to really deliver a website and kind of get the friction and be, be in the market and see that you really love doing it obviously. Um, it's okay if you don't start with the, the right solution. Um, so again, do a little bit of research, but not too much. Make a decision about how you're going to price and be confident about it at the first step. I mean, it might not be a long-term decision that this is your pricing, but when you're going to be approaching and talking with clients, you need to be confident about the process that you will be applying when they'll ask you how much does your service cost, how much does it cost to build a website, you need to be confident about what you're answering them. Again, you might change that decision later on, but right now, make a decision, be comfortable about it for your next conversation with your client. And the third um, process that you need to develop, or at least the question that you need to answer right now is, how am I going to develop or build or design the website for them, right? You need to have some kind of a process. So for me personally, the process looks something like that. I always get started by doing a strategy session with them to understand their goals, to understand who they are and what they need and what's the real problem that they're trying to solve with this um, website. Then I move on into um, kind of the wireframing and content development phase. Then I'm going into the design phase and then I'm going into development. I personally use Webflow to develop websites and then I deliver the website to them and kind of make a decision about how to support them uh, later on. So this is basically my process. Again, just like pricing, just like getting customers, a lot of different people have different processes and it's okay. If we all had the same answer to those three questions, every business would be the same. And that's just not how the world works. Basically every business have a unique answer to each one of those three questions. So some people, obviously some people do a questionnaire instead of a strategy session. Some people build with WordPress instead of Webflow. So everybody has a different process to how they're going to deliver the, the service, the product, the product that they're selling. So you need to make a decision before you go in and, and do that, sit down, write on the piece of paper. How are you going to do this? What are the step-by-step -step process that you're going to use to develop a website or to design the, uh, the websites? for your clients. Again, don't take this too seriously. You can always change this. You'll always iterate and improve this process later on, but have something, have something that when you, you'll be talking to potential clients, you'll be able to confidently say, yes, this is the process that I'm going to take. And of course, if you're going to get a rejection from your client on your pricing or on your process, you might want to iterate or you want to take, take a feedback or decide maybe this client is not a good fit for me, or maybe the process is not a good fit for you. Um, so you'll be thinking about this, but right now sit down on, on with a piece of paper and make a decision about what your process for delivering the website is going to be. You've done that. Now you're ready to get started, right? You know where you're going to go look for clients. You know how much you're going to charge them and you know how you'll deliver it. So it's just 
going on and executing.